So it's that time of year again, everyone, where we try to figure out what gift to give to our special camera friend. I just made it a whole lot easier for you by creating a list of my top recommended camera gift ideas for under $50. So let's get started. So let's first start off with some camera accessories. Over here I have a newer triple mount extension bracket. It is used for people who, you know, need extra add-ons on their hot shoe, on their camera. You could hold something like a mic, a light, and a mini monitor, which is great, so it keeps it all compact still and all in one. It's a great buy for someone who needs the extra mounting points. It was around $4 that I got it for, but I had to pay for shipping. And even though it looks like plastic, it's actually metal, so it's super strong and durable. Now onto this K-Star phone clip. You put your phone on it and the arm clamps down on your phone holding it together and it has a tripod mount at the bottom for you to attach to a tripod. So if you shoot with your phone a lot, this is something that is pretty helpful and pretty sturdy. Not really much to complain about this product other than the fact that it's plastic, but for the price you really can't complain. It does what it says it does. It clamps onto your phone and attaches your phone to a tripod and that is a huge benefit in itself as well as the fact that it could fit any phone and even a tablet. Lastly, onto these lens filters. These are filters that you screw onto your camera lens to get different effects. This is actually just a clear one. This is a UV filter, which is, you know, pretty much glass and protects your camera from being smashed. That kind of rhymed, not on purpose. You put it on your camera to pretty much protect the actual lens of it, and it does help because if you drop it directly on the front, this will protect it and this will shatter instead of your actual lens. This, on the other hand, is something different. It is also a filter, but not a normal filter. This is a Polaroid ND filter, which, if you don't know what that is, is basically a variable ND filter. If you look in the middle, you'll see that it gets darker to almost pitch black, and then it goes back to light again. This is for long exposures or trying to get the correct exposure on your camera, great for videos and photos. You won't really see it, but there is a slight sharpness decrease when you put this on top of your camera. For what it does, it's really good for the price. Next we have a Velo remote timer, which is a intervalometer pretty much for your camera. They make different connection mounts for different cameras and depending on what kind of camera you have, you want to change whatever the connection is. This is specifically for Canons with three pin connection and it takes pictures, you know, you use it as a remote to take pictures or set it to take pictures automatically. Not really anything to complain about, it does what it's supposed to, it takes pictures remotely and that's what it basically does. Also, I found out that there is a generic brand one which is just like this one called Newer and it does the same thing for about half the price I believe what I paid for this. Both of which are still under $50 so if you care about what brand it, you get then you can decide which one you want to buy but they're really both the same. Now onto lighting, I have a on-camera video light. It is really bright and super cheap. It is 160 LEDs. It comes with a few interchangeable filters. The only bad thing about it is the battery, the source of power for it. You need to get extra batteries that come separately from when you pay for the actual light itself. And that is the only bad part of it. I would recommend you get a larger size battery because these run out pretty fast and towards the end of the battery life, I'd notice a slight flicker in the light and that is a huge downside. But other than that, it is lightweight, it is compact, durable, it is a great camera light for if you put it directly on the camera or even if you set it aside as a backlight or an extra light, it's great. Then over here I have some camera stabilizers. Here I have a Dolicha or Dolica monopod. It is less than $20 but the quality of it is amazing. You wouldn't believe that it was that cheap. It has amazing quality. The actual monopod itself is very durable and made out of metal. It 
feels like metal and it's very sturdy and I would have no fear of putting on my DSLR on it. It is very capable of holding that much weight, surprisingly for the price of it. So I definitely recommend this to anyone. Now the monopod itself is fine, but I decided to add this little add-on to the mix. It is a tack shot pistol grip by Apteka and it's very great. It's kind of heavy in a good way that you know that it's good quality and it won't just break apart on you. It is plastic though, but it certainly doesn't feel that way. It definitely can handle itself and def handle. That's like a nice little pun. Just kidding, that wasn't funny. It has a quick release mount and a ball head and even those two together are still less than $50, so I personally would recommend getting both. Next here is a Opteca X Grip. It's a camera handle for about $20. If you do skating videos especially, I would recommend this because while you're skating, you have all the weight weighing down and that will stabilize your shot so you can just skate and carry this around. If you don't even do skate videos, I definitely recommend this as a camera handle. It even has a hot shoe at the top so that you can put extra add-ons such as a light or a microphone on it. I use a 70 by the way, and what I noticed about the camera handle is that if you have a bigger DSLR, it just kind of barely fits. There's like a few millimeters left at the top for you to fit your DSLR. So you can't have anything at the top of your camera on the hot shoe, so you can put it over here, but it won't fit here. If you have something like smaller, like a T3i, T5i, that will fit just fine. And they also sell an extra large version or an extended version, I believe it's called, uh, of the X Grip, which is a few more dollars, but still less than $50 if you want to get that to fit your DSLR. Lastly, this humongous shoulder rig that you can get. It is the most expensive thing out of all the items in the list, but it definitely is still less than $50. A great versatile rig for you to buy, and for it to be less than $50 is great. As you can see, you can move the arms any way you want and adjust it any way you want. It is very versatile, and the shots that you can get with it are amazing. Like, I've used this so many times as a shoulder rig, as a cage you can move it as, it has all these extra mounting points, so I definitely would recommend it to anyone who needs those features and is looking for a cheap shoulder rig. It's called a spider study, and that's what I call it and what other people call it. There's a lot of different names that go around it for online, but again, it's still under $50. Just look up spider study and you'll see this rig best rig I believe for under $50. Lastly, our final item is more of a novelty gift. It's not something that you could actually use for your camera gear. If you are actually confused, this is not a real lens. It's fake. It's a cup. <laughs> this is a lens mug and they make a lot of different styles for it. They make a Canon, they make a Nikon. So just search up lens mug and you can find this and you can get different sizes. This is a 24 to 105 Canon EF lens. It's fake, it's, you know, you can put beverages in it. And if you get the ones with the lens hood, the lens hood doubles up as a plate. So you can put cookies in here and milk in here. So that's like the best, best gift ever. That's why I saved it for the last. This is like the best thing ever. Just search up lens mug and you'll find all these different styles of lens mugs with different sizes and different brands and just pick whichever one you like best. So that was it, that was my list of camera gift ideas all under $50. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful to find a gift for someone else or even for yourself. Let me know if you guys want me to keep doing more videos about filmmaking and stuff like that because I did enjoy making this video. So thank you guys again for watching. Happy holidays, bye.